another quick video today on our cracking plants. Uh, we're in our greenhouse that you guys probably have seen in the last video. Um, we built this by hand. Uh, it's not perfect by any means, but it's enough to at least help our plants out a lot here in the summer. Um, major issue that we had was that the back room that we had our plants in was fairly dark. Um, and as you can see in here, it's very bright. Um, so the plants are taking off. They're kind of, kind of going crazy. They're getting a lot of sunlight in here. And it's nice and warm. Um, and that back room was kind of cold and dark, so they didn't get much energy. Uh, now, th with this, we've seen a couple of big things we wanted to kind of bring to light with you guys. Uh, right here, we got two plants. Um, obviously, one is a bean and one is a tomato. But uh, if you want to look at the plants here, we have two of them that, uh, by all accounts, they're pretty much the same. Same process and everything. But if you look at this plant here, you can see right down there on the roots, you see all this green growing on them. That's all algae that's been in the water. So this is just normal, natural stuff that's in our water. It's not hurting the plant per se, but what's happening is that it's robbing nutrients, right? It's another plant competing for the nutrients that is in the water. So what we have also, this is why the sock is very important. So these plants were both put in at the same time, grown at the same time, same water. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty in the bottom, but you can see that there's no algae in there. There's no green. So the sock may sound kind of funny, but that saves the plant a lot of energy and a lot of nutrients. So it's definitely worth investing in some nice thick black socks. Okay. Another thing that we've noticed is these plants start growing very quickly and their stems don't get very thick right off the bat. Beans are a little bit different. They're a bit hardier of a plant and so they grow thicker stems pretty fast. But more uh, genteel or more uh, weak plants like a tomato plant, uh, they will actually start falling over because they don't have enough support in the pot. Um, and so what that happens is they start falling over and they start brushing up against the edge of our net pot here. And as you can see, what we happen is it actually starts pinching off the plants. And you get these really thin sections. The plant keeps, keeps growing, obviously, right? It, it's still going. But what happens is it kind of pinches off and that can get very fragile and dry and break off. So what we did here is we just went ahead and pinched it off. Um, and what we're going to probably do is we're going to probably plant this in the soil outside, see if we can't get it to go. But uh, if you guys have planted tomatoes before, you can see all these little hairs. I don't know if you can see that very well in the video. See all these hairs all the way up the tomato plant? Each one of these little hairs is going to sprout off and become a root. And so this plant very is still very viable. So even if you do get plants that break off, you can still put them back in the water. And you can still probably revive them. Okay, so we're going to put that, and maybe in a future video we'll see if it does and take off or they died. We'll see. But uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit uh, comment, that like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or any comments. And uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.